Sarah crying like that. So do I. So do I. Mm. Uh, ladies and gentlemen, this has been an emotional day. Uh, we're going to take a short break. Courtesan reason. In this case, the lady is determined to find her biological father and brings a man who fits the name she was given. However, she has asked the judge for a few moments alone before the case begins because of this. Uh, you have petitioned the court to administer a DNA test to determine if he is, in fact, your long-lost father. Miss Dandridge. She has never met her biological father since birth, and here is the narrative she was given when she was young and how she found out the truth. No, ma'am, I didn't. I was raised to believe that my sister's dad was my dad. I was like around nine or 12. I, I was old enough to know how to read, and I found adoption papers stating that my dad wasn't my dad, that I, I believed was my dad. She had to search for her father alone, and that's where she got the name of the man she was bringing to court. Roughly three months ago, I posted on Facebook, um, this status may hurt some people's feelings, but I really want to know who my dad is. And my mom, she got on there and told me that I was a liar and that I never asked who my dad was and just threw his name at me. And then after she gave me that name, she told me to never contact her again. The man was escorted into the court to begin the paternity proceedings, but the lady's reaction was heartbreaking. Did this man have a relationship with her mother? Why did he never contact this young lady or her mother? Things got blowed up. She, she was gone one week, and you know, I got in trouble with the law down there. I made some bad choices. I got kicked out of the state of Florida. So did you ever know that her mother was pregnant? No, I did not have a clue until she called me and told me. There was no reason to go back and forth as both parties were eager to get the paternity test results. The results came in at last, and here's the reaction. Mr. Sigmund, you are not oh, her father. I can't breathe. Do you think that's tear provoking? Then watch what she did next. Oh my goodness. I can't breathe. I'm going to take these breaths. Here, take your jacket off. Take your jacket off. Just take deep breaths. I know my heart you did. is so broke. Sometimes, paternity cases have twists that would make you wonder how the parties would react after revealing the result at the end. In this case, here's what the parties are claiming. Say there's no need for a paternity test because you're certain he is your baby's father. Yes, Your Honor. Mr. Zuniga, you say you don't owe her a dime because you're not her son's father. You've petitioned the court for a lie detector test and a paternity test. Now, the man tries to explain why he claims he's not the father, and Judge Lauren asks him to explain his doubt. Well, I found out that she never really stayed in relationships long and that she liked to jump from guy to guy. Miss Luz, were you sleeping with other men when you were sleeping with Mr. Zuniga? No, not one. Something else happened during the relationship, prompting the man to claim he was not the father. This one instance where this lady came up to me and she told me that while I was with her, she was cheating on me the whole time with her husband. And he, he looks wow. just like the father. Red hair and blue eyes. The lady invited the man's mother to court as her witness, bringing a whole new dimension to the case. I love my son, don't get me wrong. I really honestly love my son, but his reasonings are crazy to me. I um, submitted pictures earlier to the courts of how much they look alike. The first reveal in court was from the lie detector test, and this happened. You were asked if you ever had sexual relations with any other man while dating Pedro, which is Mr. Zuniga. You said no. The lie detector determined, deception indicated. Based on the lie detector test result, the court had to order a paternity test to determine whether Mr. Zuniga was the father. It is this court's finding that because you were with another man during the time you were also with Mr. Zuniga, right. we're going to order a paternity test. Now, this is where things get emotional. It has been determined by this court, Mr. Zuniga, you are his father. Oh, thank oh you, <laughs> There are several ways to inform your 33-year-old daughter if you think you're not her biological father. Do you think this man told her the right way? For the first 33 years of your life, you were a daddy's girl. But just six months ago, your father dropped a bomb on you and said, you are not my daughter. Here's precisely what happened six months before the parties appeared in court. 
couple weeks before Christmas, just telling him how I felt about him not being in his grandchildren's lives. And, and that was his response, is the reason why I haven't been in your life is because uh, the reason why he didn't answer any of my questions. Well, the father responded in three months with the following words. The reason why you went through the things you did as a child is because you're not my daughter. Judge Lauren asks why he thinks she is not his daughter and only tells her this after acting as her dad for 33 years. Uh, basically, she told me she was pregnant, and I'm like, okay. Uh, you know, you're 18, you're like, okay, like, wow. You know, you don't really you know how to really react, but I was like, okay, wow, she's pregnant. And it wasn't until the doctor told her how far along she was, and doing the math, it was, you know, before me. Following the revelations by the man, here's what the daughter said. Since December 8th or whatever day it was that you decided to say you're not my daddy no more. If you don't want to be my daddy, you don't have to be. It was time to reveal the result of the paternity test, and there was always going to be a heartbreaking reaction. It has been determined by this court. Mr. Esau, you are not the father. How would you react if you found out after 33 years that a man you've always known to be your father is not your daddy? I need my mama! I need my mama! That's all I need! Despite realizing more than 10 years ago that the girl might be his child, here is Mr. Gale's reason for not being there for her. Do you think this is plausible? Mr. Gale, you claim you weren't there for Ms. Glenn because you only found out she may be your child when she was 15 years old. Yes, Your Honor. And uh, your biggest fear is that your wife will leave you if you're proven to be the father. Ooh. Every time my daughter calls him, it's like, oh, I can't talk to you right now. Tanya's sitting right here. Right, because I, I don't want to disrespect, disrespect my wife. Like most cases, this was one bound to reveal some secrets buried in history between Mr. Gale and Miss Percy. So, if you were together 15 years, that would put you way before you were together with your wife way before right, we broke that up Ms. a Glenn long was, time but ago we were still sleeping together we, we yes, slept we together one time your honor he's still trying to sleep with what? something happened in the past because miss percy had other options on who could be the father mm. So I just, they all of a sudden, the she said, I'm they the father. They wasn't the father. But, so but, you was the other but, possible father. But yeah. if you had somebody else test, if I was the father, you should have tested me first. Miss Percy, that's, that's, that's a valid question. It's true. If you really and felt he it. was the father, why wasn't he the first man tested? Mm. The daughter, whose paternity is in doubt, also made some conscious efforts to find out who her father was by asking for a paternity test in the past. But here's the response she got from the defendant. Uh, I understand that you want to find out who your dad is, but you're going to have to pay for the paternity test. Oh, my God. I would have been, been, which, which, been fine with that. <sighs> Never said anything. That was after the fact. That mm -mm. was just recently. Mm -mm. No. Miss Percy and her daughter believe Mr. Gale's wife is getting in the way of the paternity test and stopping him from being a father to his kids. Happen. It's come a time to where every time I get on the phone, she's like, oh, you're on the phone with your little friend. Mm -hmm. Like, as if I'm nothing. I'm somebody. I may not have yeah. had a father, but I'm somebody. The case was filled with drama from both women. The judge had much of it until the paternity test results came in. It has been determined by this court. Mr. Gale, you are not her father. I hear me, boo. I'll let you girl. Let's roll. <laughs> what, what you talking? Ms. Glenn really hoped Mr. Gale would be her father, which is how she reacted to the paternity test result.